Hi everybody, how are you doing today? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can improve. No, not really. I'm going to show you what I did to improve my page P score from 26 to over 90. So let me test my site speed first. So you know that I'm the real deal. Okay, I'm not uh, like some other sites that how to improve, how to get perfect score on Google page speed inside, but their site is like 50 or even 30. So I base my site here, analyze, and just wait for a while. I pause the video and come back when the test is over. I don't see that I didn't have to pause the video. The score is 91. So this is on the home page. And I'm not using a CDN. Please. I'm running this on a digital, uh, digital ocean server. I think $50 a month. One CPU and two gigs of RAM. Pretty standard. So let me uh, do another test on my post. So here, I will test the post. That was the home page. The speed of the post uh, is usually higher. Yeah, 97. So how did I do that? You uh, ask Cora here, it takes only uh, 0.9 seconds to load the first contentful pane. And this is on mobile devices. So you see that the score is, is fine, it's great for me because when I got this report from Google, 92 slow URLs on mobile and on desktop is moderate. That means it below, it below uh, 90. Oh, let me switch to desktop so you see that is the perfect score. This is the perfect score. Okay, so let me show you how I did that. So here is the list. So if you're in a hurry, you can yeah, look at the list and quit watching the video. But stick to the end because I will show you some settings that is very important. So the first, the first thing is, I uh, previously I have a Facebook chat widget. So I decided to get rid of that. Facebook uh, JavaScript makes the site load very slowly. So if you uh, must have Facebook uh, widget on your site, instead make an icon of the chat with it, widget, still remove the Facebook uh, JavaScript SDK and point that link to messenger.com. So uh, I, maybe I will make a, a, video, a post showing you how to do just this so you can improve the score uh, greatly yeah i went from like 26 to 50 by doing just this and next i will show you my plugins i don't use many plugins here are uh, the list of my plugins so i have a uh, popular advanced custom fuel ascii med and this is this is vital and i'm going to show you uh, at the end of the video and there are some custom plugin i built for myself let's check so let's activate one okay uh contact from seven yeah i see that i don't have many many videos uh many plugins because i advise you to use as uh, little plugins as possible because many plugins are badly coded and it can it can uh, slow down your site dramatically. For example, some website will uh, include CSS uh, library or JavaScript library uh, from another another CDN or from their own, and it will add up your site the size of uh, of your site significantly. So. 
limit the number of plugins you have to use. And if you know how to how to write code, then you can remove the the CSS in other plugins. So let me explain this this point. It is very important. I have uh, related here. This is related post thumbnails. This is a very nice plugin that it adds related post at the end of my post here. So this is a very nice plugin, but it adds some excessive CSS. So I went ahead and create my own style and remove all the CSS from this plugin. So it reduced the number of, uh, of redundant code from the plugin. So this is not uh, a thing that everyone can do, but if you are a developer, make sure that you remove all the unnecessary CSS code or JavaScript code from, from other plugins. And uh, this theme is the one I built myself. So maybe you don't have the luxury uh, of using your custom built font, uh, custom built theme, but um, you know, Teams on the market, they usually try to do many things. So their, their CSS and JavaScript size is huge. So, um, well, I, I think that, I know that it is not uh, possible for everybody, but if you can build your own theme or optimize the theme so it use uh, as little CSS or JavaScript as possible. Okay, if you're running a blog, then you don't need much. So, to the next point. And this is Phone Awesome. Phone Awesome is great, okay? It adds some very nice icons to your site. But sometimes you only need uh, one or two icons on your site and you still need to add the whole library. So remove that. I have another service here that is called Contello. So this service, they allow you to select only the icons you want and pack it into a small, small file, small files. So it will significant, significantly reduce the size of font icon you need to include on your site. So for example, this is the all icons in font awesome. But what if you just want to use this, this one? Okay, so just select that and click on download web fonts here. And that's it. That's all you need to download. So font awesome is great, but it will make your site load slower. So make sure if you it, it is possible. This is not possible for everybody because you need to know a bit of coding to replace phone or some with this. But if you can go ahead, it will make your site load much, much faster. So this is what I, 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 I told you about. Build your own theme if you can or use a theme that has a small size of CSS and JavaScript. Big size, like uh, selling on, uh, on site like Code Canyon, many of them will try to include so many things that your site may not need, and as a result, it will slow your site. And this applies to page builder. Page reader, they need to include many, many things. They include sliders, fonts, and a lot of fancy stuff. But if your site don't need that, please don't use them. Site speed is vital. You see here, speed index, this is, we will say this is experimental, but I think they are going to use this as a ranking signal, ranking score. So uh, I submit, I submitted the fix, and they 
they, they said that they will update the result in 28 days max. So hopefully in the next uh, report, I will have uh, all URLs in past URL. Okay, so, uh, so enable lazy loading for images. This is very important. If you don't you know, enable lazy loading, the, so your visitors who come to your site, they may not scroll down to the bottom of your site, but they still need to load all the image that they don't see. So enable lazy loading. And um, I will show you uh, how to do that. And finally, use auto optimize. I don't know how to read this, but you can show this on Google. And uh, here, look. Oh, so this is auto optimize. Sorry, I typed it incorrectly. But this one is free. And uh, here I'm going to show you my settings. So go here, uh, click here, I have it install and enable. And here I enter, I check these two boxes on JavaScript. This, all of the boxes here on CSS. And surely I uh, check this box. And finally, uh, three boxes here. And this plugin, it allows you to enable lazy loading too. So you don't have to install extra plugin, which is great. Okay, so check this one to lazy load the image. And here, extra. Uh, I don't use Google Forms. Google Forms. That is a bit extreme. But you, if you can afford that, don't use it. It will slow down your site, obviously. Okay. I also remove WordPress, emojis, etc. And I still have a quite fully functional site, fast, few can read. So this is only a blog. So I don't have uh, much thing to ask for. I don't need a slider. And you see that I have a an opt-in form here. And it is all HTML. I don't use JavaScript here. So normally, autoresponder service will give you a bunch of code, usually JavaScript. So you can have a nice form, but I don't think that extra nice is, is important. It's more important than silo tab. Um, so uh, that's is it. That is how I achieve this score. Okay, so this is my site and this is my score. And if you want to test on GT metrics, it will get very nice score too. All right, just a few seconds. I'll test it for you. And this is it. This is final score. Okay. Not a hundred percent like in uh, Google page speed, but still very nice. Load in 1.5 seconds. And what is low score? I don't have uh, a CDN here. And I spy header. I have an app for this thing, but uh, this is on Google. So I don't know how to add that. So maybe you know, so please let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have any questions, just just type in the, the comment section and I will try my best to share with you uh, my knowledge. So thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video.